Hey everybody, it's Sunday, September 1st, 2019. It's going to be video number one, two, or three, I'm not sure which. I uh, just wanted to update you all that I am really starting to get my soft washing uh, roof cleaning setup done. I got a 25 pound, uh, 25 pound, but I guess 25 gallon Gempler's tank and just basically getting my feet wet in the whole situation gonna get my battery and stuff get my hose get my um, my reel all that stuff but today I went to AutoZone and picked up a a new marine battery with a 12 month warranty we're gonna see how that works out um, just wanted to full, uh, fully let you guys know what's going on I'm gonna start a video here and try to track some of my progress and you know kind of invite you guys along on the adventure some of my uh, I guess mentors or inspiration for wanting to start a video um, type vlog. Uh, Dan, Dan's vlog, uh, great guy, started me out on the pressure washing, uh, basically starting from scratch or nothing. Um, another guy is Keith Kelfis. Keith Kelfis has been doing a great job. Uh, I've been studying him for the last couple months and he's got so many videos. A, it's hard to keep track of did I watch that one. I've got to like them all and stuff. But um, another WNC Wash Pros, uh, Southeast Soft Wash. A lot of you guys have been inspirational for me. I figure I can sit and talk to a video camera, you know, every once in a while and uh, basically spill the beans, tell everyone how it's going, give ideas, thoughts, business, uh, business insight, customer stuff, and maybe a couple of funnies along the way. Um, I know I shouldn't be driving while I'm talking on a cell phone, but I'm not. I'm recording a video uh, here in Texas. It's hands-free, so I'm just going to keep my hands up for a while. Um, basically, I'm just going to ramble on for a little bit. Tell you a little about my backstory and what I'm doing, what I'm trying to accomplish, and who I am. Uh, first off, my name is Mark Klodzinski. I started a small power washing company here in Houston in the month of January 2019. So I've been doing it about seven months, maybe eight months, coming on nine months, maybe. But uh, long story short, I work from home. I'm a dispatcher for a small business company. Uh, we do hot shot work around Houston. So I'm sitting at home, look in my office window. And the deeds lady's driving by the house real slow, and she stops. So I'm like, huh? What is she doing out there? You know, I know the woman. She's very nice. Uh, we talk. So I you know, went out the front door to check the mail and uh, kind of, hey, what's going on? What, what are you stopping? What are you taking pictures of at my house? And, oh, well, it, not a big deal. I just wanted to let you know you've got a little mold and mildew kind of stuff on your chimney out there on the side of the house. And the side of the house I never go on, so... I'm pretty sure that she was right. There was a lot of mildew and stuff growing, a lot of black crap on the uh, on the brick. So I'm talking to her, and I'm like, well, what's the deal? You guys finally checking that out? She goes, oh, don't worry. I'm not sending out letters. Um, the deeds committee in our neighborhood really hasn't done anything at all for the last 10 years. We've decided we're going to start sending friendly letters out in spring and summer, letting people know that they've, they're going to crack down. But uh, three out of four homes in the, in the subdivision have mold and mildew on the side of their house algae so I started thinking here I thought to myself uh, you know I've been power washing my house brick patios driveway curb and all that for the last couple years and it's a pain it's a pain in the butt you know it's hard work it ain't fun Texas you know the summer can get 94 degrees but I'm thinking to myself there's a thousand homes in the neighborhood three quarters of that would be 750 people that's 750 prospective clients that I could net if I could just start a business, get the word of mouth, and get out there and just start washing these houses. So basically, the middle of January, I had the idea, start a power washing company. But it's not as easy as it sounds, or is it as easy as it sounds? And it kind of really is. You basically get an idea, and you run with it. You, uh, you, know, you have a dream, an idea. My idea was power washing cleaning driveways, getting algae off the side of houses. So I started researching, YouTubing, Googleizing, the hell am I getting into, you know? So basically the guys I mentioned before, I got some information online, typed in power washing on YouTube, and then realized that I need to buy a new uh, a new disc sucker mount for my, my truck. Whoop. That's next up. Anyway, so I Googleized it, figured out who I need to, uh, you know, who, who I need to watch to figure out the tricks of the trade. And after watching hours and hours of video, realized that uh, there's a lot of guys out there who have been doing this for a couple of years, started from nothing, 
and now they're big successful uh, corner in their market number one on Google YouTube um, they're very successful and it all started with a with a power washer and a dream so I'm thinking huh this can't be too hard um, it really is not that hard oh, there we go all right going back to advanced auto parts or wherever anyway so got the idea so I need to need to figure out okay now how do I get the equipment how do I get the customers what am I doing basically so a lot of the information I've been watching is yeah. all right let's fix this do, 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 do. I'm gonna do this do, do, do. jack that up and put it back and now I can make a video again and we're back after these commercial interruptions anyway so I figured out I need to purchase X, Y, and Z. But at the time, I was working with a 3100 uh, PSI 2.5 gallon per minute Troy built Briggs and Stratton uh, power washer, right? So I'm figuring uh, I can, you know, do some surface cleaning, stuff like that, really get my feet wet and uh, see if I can even do this. You know, I didn't have $2,000, $4,000, $1,000 to put into this business. So I started off with, you know, basically a next door. Uh, figuring that was going to be my point of attack for the neighborhood to get people's attention and find out what I'm doing basically you know, Learning marketing from square one for a business So I had a friend who lived down the street and she owned a perimeter house uh, Basically a perimeter home on the neighborhood. She's got a back fence that is uh, on the back of the neighborhood and It's basically one of the boundary fences and our perimeter fence in our neighborhood is absolute shambles disgusting It's a big eyesore uh, long story short, the developer for the for our neighborhood back in the 70s did not grant an easement or maintain or keep the deed to the surrounding part of the neighborhood, and so the perimeter fence was given to every individual. So there's probably about 150 or more houses on the perimeter of our neighborhood that have a good 100 or 50 or whatever feet of fence. So long story short is nobody really maintains it because nobody's gonna drop six eight five three thousand dollars a year or a couple of years to maintain it clean it stain it or to just rebuild it let that fucker fall over who cares and I kind of don't blame him because I wouldn't want to build a I don't have the money to just make a new fence for my house and I've got you know, three sides two neighbors three neighbors whatever so we really can't blame these people uh, aside from that I digress the neighbor lady a friend of mine she had a fence and I needed work so I told her hey I'll do your fence for free or next to nothing if you let me take my power washer out there treat it and, and, and clean that damn thing you know so I spent a weekend two days uh, basically hooked up my power washer you know I bleached that thing down I'm sorry so I don't have the chloride and then I uh, I got it working so I cleaned her fence, it took a day and a half, and and it was fun, you know, I, I realized, hey, this is something I could do, you know, I've got the credibility, I've washed a fence, and if you wanna wait a second, I'm driving by the damn thing right now, maybe I'll, maybe I'll see what I can do with this stupid suction mount thing. All right, so we're gonna drive by this beautiful fence, I'm gonna roll that beautiful fence footage, and if you look now, you, I guess I can't see what you're looking at, but you can see what you're looking at. This pretty fence right here, dirty, dirty, clean, 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 clean fence. That was done back in uh, March or April. And so, you know, if you clean a fence, you got to do it every year because you're not going to keep it clean. It's going to be attacked by water, mildew, mold, algae, crap. Um, so I cleaned her fence. She gave me a shout on her next door, giving her a great deal, doing a great job and a great fence. Um, and from there, it kind of just took off. You know, I... Basically, my entire business was based off of word of mouth. I don't have a marketing budget. I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna advertise on Google. You know, I basically I, I built up a small Facebook group just to legitimize myself and make it known that hey, this guy this guy cleans, this guy washes, this guy power whatevers. So I called the name of my company Mr. Deeds Power Washing because Google and the internet and YouTube said power washing. I mean, I own a pressure washer, but it's power washing, and it wasn't until now. You know, in August or July, August, September, that I've really been buckling down and checking out market research and stuff like that. Like, how do I get customers? How do I keep the phone ringing? How do I stay in business? How do I turn a profit? Because it ain't easy. I mean, if, if you're not doing nothing, 
nothing's going to do for you. If you're not asking or looking for customers, if you're not advertising or marketing yourself, you're not in business. Um, one way to look at it is if I am winking at a girl in the subway train and the lights are out, she ain't going to see me winking at her. You know, if I go sit next to her, she's going to punch me in the mouth. <laughs> but, uh, but that's neither here nor there. So long story short is uh, thanks to a lot of other YouTube characters and great businessmen, I've been paying attention, watching, listening, and uh, basically figuring out what the hell I'm supposed to do. So I've been in business for about eight months now. It's been pretty stagnant in terms of uh, marketing, asking for customers. And so it's been you know hills and valleys and plateaus only because I work a full-time job. So my main deal is working weekends, you know, Saturdays and Sundays, uh, and then evenings at 5.30 to 8 o'clock because we've got great weather here in Houston, Texas. So the long and short of it is I'm to the point where I've got my shit together. Uh, I know what I can ask for. I'm going to be basically building up a company from scratch at this point. I've waited this long to really think about expanding, getting bigger, faster, stronger, sexier equipment. You know, right now I'm working off a 3200 uh, 2.9 gallon Simpson pressure washer. That's my industrial strength, commercial grade homeowner version. And the, my, uh, my J5, my little robot, my little pressure washer, three years old. I've been running SH and, and basically soap through that thing since January. And I'm hitting a, uh, hitting a plateau where that pump's about to fail. And that's my that's my gravy train with biscuit wheels. Uh, I've been able to to wash houses with that thing, and I'm, it's not been easy. It's not been fun, but it's been doable. And that's kind of the point is where you know, as my buddy Dan and Dan's vlog was saying that you can you can wash a house with a one gallon pump sprayer. You can wash a house with a two gallon. You can wash it with a backpack, or you can downstream inject. You can soft wash twelve volt whatever pump. It can be done. The point is, is what I'm learning now is the equipment you have tells you how much time you're going to spend. Before, I didn't really give two shits how long it took me to get the job done because I wasn't really, yeah, you know, I wasn't a business guy. I wasn't in it to make the money. And, you know, it was just a part-time job to help pay the bills. I've got baby number three coming here at the end of October. We'll call it uh, basically Halloween. 